All right, we're back with some more MIT App Inventor action here. We're going to do Mole Mash 2. Um, it's not exactly a sequel, but just kind of a souped up version of our previous Mole Mash game. We're still going to be whacking the moles and uh, getting those sweet, sweet points, but uh, we're going to do it in a bit of a different way. So first of all, I want you to go ahead and put the canvas back out. So go to your um, drawing and animation drawer, pull out the canvas, Let's make that 320 by 320. Okay, so next we're going to take, and instead of making it just invisible, we're going to go ahead and change the color. We're just going to make it green because it's going to be like grass. So in that canvas, we're going to need six image sprites. One, two, three, four. Don't worry about the placement for now. We're actually going to use a different way to move these around using the X, Y, and Z coordinates today. That's what's going to be important about this because you're going to learn about uh, some image uh, sprite layering and uh, different ways to get your um, sprites to move around uh, to set locations. So on this bottom sprite, I'm going to uh, go ahead and rename it Mole. That's going to be our Mole. All right. And I'm going to set uh, this Z level down here. It's set by 1 by default. I'm going to set that to 2.0. That's the most important thing. That's going to put the mole on top of the holes. Okay. So um, I'm going to go ahead and upload the files. So I want the mole. And I want the hole. Now it's important to upload it like this because the way we are going to, another thing we're going to learn today is creating a list as a variable and uh, pulling pictures from that list. Now that's going to be very important in future apps um, where we randomize and pick items from a list. So you're going to see how to, to manage that today. But make sure that you have the files uploaded and that it's spelled correctly because you're going to have to type it in exactly later on in the blocks view. So we've got our mole. This one, you can go ahead and set the picture to. That's not a problem because we're not going to automate that. So mole and then go to picture. And actually, you know, before I had it removed, I had a mole that looked exactly like that right here, right on my nose. It had the eyes and the, it was furry, like a little hairs coming out of it. It's exactly what my mole looked like. That's why I make these mole masher games because I hated that mole. I was just wanted to just... Just get it off of there. And now I can live vicariously through the apps you make. So back to this. Image Sprite 1. Rename that whole one. You know, I'm a fan of copy and paste. So I'm going to copy that. Say rename, paste, change it to 2. Rename, change it to 3. Four. Rename. Change that to five. Perfect. Going back. Now I'm going to give you some values. These are just X, Y values. And so um, it helps us to set the position exactly where we want it. So down here, hole one, we're going to put that at um, 20 for the X and 60 for the Y. Keeping the Z at one point or 1.0. 1 for hole two, we're going to change that to um, 130. We're going to keep the Y at 60, so it's all at the same um, height on the screen. It's going to line up very nicely. The X, we're going to keep going to the right. We're going to change that to 240, and the Y, 60. We're going to take hole 4. We're going to drop that down a little bit on our um, X. is going to set that to 75. But uh, our Y is going to be... Um, 140. Oh, I put 150. Shame on me. And uh, you guessed it. We're going to move this over on the X uh, to be 185 and the Y to be even with that at 140. Perfect. So we're done with the image sprites for now. Let's go ahead and move out uh, layout. We're going to start using some more of these horizontal and vertical arrangements. So as you can see, we've got that on there. Now I'm going to go to this user interface, and I'm going to show you a different way to do a score. You can just put the label in there and then put another label on top of it. 
So I have two labels sitting in this horizontal arrangement. The first label I'm going to rename. I'm going to call it score text label. It's literally just going to be score and a colon. And that's not going to change for us. What is going to change is our second label. We're actually going to rename that to score text value. And we're going to start out with a big fat zero. Just like my grade in here in this class. I've done nothing all year. Crazy, huh? So we've got the horizontal arrangement. We've got the score values and labels. Uh, let's go ahead and put out a button, a reset button. Look under there. Move this over a bit. And um, I'm going to rename it button reset. Okay, it tells me that it's a button and I'm using it to reset things. Uh, change the text to reset. Um, I think we're almost done with the designer view. We need some things that you can't see. So we're going to scroll down to the sensors. We want a clock, which I mean I'm going to rename it for this. It's going to be, you know, timer for the mole. So timer mole. And um, we want a sound. Who doesn't like sounds? I'm just going to drop that sound in there. And I'm just going to name this buzzer because I really I don't want a sound. I just want it to vibrate and buzz. It's our buzzer. Looks good to me. Let's um, change over to, um, well, one last thing to say about the uh, timer. You can change this interval uh, number here. So higher, lower, make it go faster, slower. Just remember that. All right, so in our designer view, we're going to start off by initializing a global variable. So we're going to say variable. We're going to make it, it's going to be called um, holes. And the crazy part is we want this to store a list for us, not just one item, but a list of items. Oops, that's for later. So list, we want it to create an empty list. Uh, and we're going to be referring to this variable uh, quite often in this tutorial. All right, so now let's start with the control and say, hey, um, just kidding. We're going to start with the screen. Because it's when the screen pops up is when we want all this stuff to start. So when the screen starts or initializes, we want to take and we want to start creating our list. So we want to add items to this empty list that we made. Now, there's only one item slot. We're going to need five. So you can click on this cog and drag this over. And that's going to create as many as you want. All right, so there's five items. Now, what's the list that we need? Well, it's the only list that we have. It's called the holes list. So we're going to get this holes list. So that's what we're going to add items to. You could have multiple lists at multiple times uh, for different reasons. So well, what are our items? It's going to be our holes here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use this. Oh, no, I'm in the way. We're going to use these to change the pictures. So we got hole one. I'm going to control paste. Let's click those in there and change them. Two, three, four. Touchdown. All right. So now what we're going to do, this creates the list. This part right here creates the list. When a screen initializes, we make five items called hole one, hole two, hole three, hole four, hole five. Okay? And we put it inside this list. The next thing that we have to do is tell it something uh, in a, one of these event handlers. We're going to say, hey, for each item, we want to do something specific. So for each item, for each hole in the list, I'm just going to copy it from here get global holes, okay? So for each hole in there, hole one, two, three, four, five, we wanna do something. We wanna set an image. 
Now, this is going to be something we haven't used before. It's in this any component drawer right here. So if you click on it, it's going to open up and you can see any sprite, any clock, any label. We're going to go to any sprite. And we're going to find where it says image sprite. We want to set image sprite picture. All right. Now it's a component of um, this variable. get whole, right? and what do we want to do? We want every single one of those to change to this picture called whole.png. Now if you've got a different picture, you're using something different, you need to go back to this view and you need to look exactly what it says. So if it says, you know, dinosaur.png, but dinosaur is misspelled, you know, D-I-N-S-O-R, S-O-R-E, oh man. You got to spell it exactly like that. That's part of the string, or else it's not going to know what it's looking for. We're going to take, we're going to make this procedure in a minute, but this helps us round off this initialization. So I'm going to put move mole. That way, it gives us the option under procedures to pull out call move mole, and we'll put that there outside of this for each. So what it's going to do when this initializes. Here's what this says. It says find the list global holes. Well, here it is. It's empty. Add these things to it, hole one, two, three, four, five. And for each hole in that holes list, I want to set the picture for hole to this. So that just sets all five of those pictures uh, to that. And then the next thing it will do, it'll start the mole moving. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to do that very quickly. You're not even going to be able to tell. The mole is just going to start moving. So while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, do the move mole procedure. This is going to be just a little bit different because what we're going to do is we're going to find these variables where these holes are, and we're going to move that picture on top of it. So we're going to go into variables, and we're going to initialize the local variable, and the name of it is we're going to make a, an, a we're going to store some information so that we know where these holes are. And then we'll be able to move the mole to those in a random order. So we made the current hole variable. Now what we want to do under list is we want to pick a random hole. This will go one through five. It'll pick a random one. And what list do we want to look in to pick that from? That's going to be our global holes list. So we've created the list. We added the items. Now we're going to look in there and name one current hole so that when it moves, it moves um, based off of that. So we're going to do another call, and we're going to call on the mole. Oh, great and mighty mole, we call upon thee to move. Where do we want to move to? Well, we're going to say get current hole. For the X, oh, so sorry. We need that here in a minute. Uh, we need to look at the image sprite where it is. So image sprite X. Here we go. So image sprite X as a component of get current hole. I'll copy and paste that. And this will be Y and uh, get current hole. So there is our move mole procedure. All right, we're almost done here. We have just a few more things. Uh, the mole timer is easy. Uh, all you do is pull out the uh, go to the, go to the old timer mole. Pull out. Hey, when it's timing, what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to move the mole. That's the purpose. So go back up to our procedure. Say call move mole. That's done. Um, let's see. Okay, well, um, let's do the reset button. No. What happens when you touch the mole? Okay. I touched the mole. Well, we're going to get some sweet, sweet score. So let's go ahead and go to um, the mole and say, hey, Hey man, when you touched my mole, 
When moles touched, I yell, ah! I want to set the score. So I'm going to go to the text value, and we want to set this text value to kind of an algorithm. We want to look at the value, and we want to add. So we find the plus. What are we going to add? Well, you guys will probably put like 10 million, but I'm only going to put 10. I think it's a good compromise. And then uh, we're going to add that to what the previous one was. So that we're going to say score value label.text. Score text value text. Boom. Now we want to go to our buzzer and we say, hey, let's vibrate. Let's do that for like, I don't know, 100 milliseconds. It's a good time for us. And then last of all, we want that mole to be like, I'm getting out of here and to move. And there you have it. That's our program. Let's go to the designer view and connect our emulator. All right, so we have our emulator rocking. We've got our mole. He's moving around. He's like, you can't get me. We've got our score, our reset button. So I'm going to start hitting him. Take that. 10, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's crazy. He's going out of control. 100 points right there. Super easy. I'm going to reset that. And it didn't reset. Uh-oh, what did we do? Let's go figure it out. Go to blocks. We said... Uh, well, we didn't say anything. Button reset. When the button's clicked, we want to take this, set the score text. I don't want to set that to, I want to set it to zero. Ah, don't, don't do all those. Let's steal this. Put zero in there. All right, let's test it out. That's why we test things. Reset. Oh, works. 10, 10, 20, 30, 60, 50, 80. Okay. All right, I'm done. So let's talk about variations. The cool thing about this game is you can add certain variations. Like we could take our layout tool and um, add like a horizontal layout up here and, you know, put little hearts or something. You know, make it really small. Instead of go automatic, we'll say pixels. Make it like 10. Okay, and we'll have a little heart system up here. All right, and uh, every time you miss, like, oh, and you click over here, it takes away a heart. Or maybe it adds a red X, and you get three red X's and you're out. All right, maybe you have another mole, a sneaky mole, like a ninja mole. He's got like a red bandana on. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm like sneaky ninja mole. And if you click on him, he like throws a ninja star at you. And you're like, ouch. And the screen like shakes and it's all crazy. And you like lose a heart, you know? That would be sad. That would be really sad. My heart breaks for you. See what I did there? All right, you choose your variations. Uh, make something creative, but uh, make this version uh, 2.0 in this mole mesh and uh, uh, practice doing things in a different way and uh, see what suits you best.